Today I'll show you how to edit a clip from Patrick CC's Little Dicky video. I'll play the clip now. White rappers are usually labeled as corny when they enter the music industry. Many rappers have this cool mystique about them, which attaches a persona to complement the extraordinary lifestyle they live and rap about. Often when white rappers try to create this cool persona, it comes off as inauthentic and is rejected by the masses. Which In Photoshop, you'll want to use the quick selection tool to mask out all the images and cut them into a new layer. You can then control click the layer thumbnail to select it and go select modify feather for the edges. And you can double click the layers and add drop shadows. Save this Photoshop file and then open it in After Effects. A word of advice is when you are linking a Photoshop file, you can always go back into Photoshop and adjust some of the effects. But try not to move or reposition the layers in Photoshop as that will cause it to move in After Effects and ruin your animation. I've recreated the clip in After Effects. A lot of Patrick CC's editing style doesn't use overly complex effects. Majority of it is keyframing 3D layers, transitions, opacity and null objects. You can do this in Premiere Pro and Patrick CC probably does it there but After Effects is much better especially when using 3D layers and motion blurs. For the little dicky layers I've made simple scale and position keyframes. Underneath there's a couple of star overlays set to screen mode and 3D enabled with scale keyframes. Then a dark grey background solid layer underneath. For the font I used Seago print and added a position animate. Set the position under the animator range selected to negative 50 then add two start keyframes going from 0 to 100%. You can then add an opacity property to the animator under the add option and set it to 0%. Then for the text end transition you add a position animation with the opacity property. Keyframe the end property to 0% for the first keyframe and 100% for the second keyframe. Then put two opacity keyframes starting at 100% and then 0% for the second keyframe. Then before the text disappears, there's a grey solid layer with position keyframes going from right to left with motion blur enabled. This layer has a gradient ramp effect added going from white to grey. This layer is in between the little dicky and little dicky background layers. At the same time, the top little dicky layer has position keyframes going down. Make sure you hit F9 to smoothen keyframes as you go. You can use the graph view to play around with the curves and animation speeds. For this next Next scene I have all three wrappers enter using opacity, position and scale keyframes. I have all three layers with 3D enabled and in the top view you can see future the middle wrapper is positioned closer in Z space to give it more depth in 3D space. Then I've created a null object and linked the wrappers to it so I can keyframe a Y rotation swivel in position plus scale keyframes. At the same time I've imported a floating purple bubble layer which I've created a track mat link to the shape layer above it. The shape is a giant eclipse which I use position keyframes to make the purple bubbles reveal from bottom left to top right. I've also added a fast box blur effect to this track mat to blur the edges of the eclipse. These are just 2D layers. Now for the exit transition I create a new null object. Split the three wrappers and purple bubble layers. You can find this option at the top under edit split layers and then parent those split layers and create position and scale keyframes. At the same time I have a grey background animation using the opacity, scale and position keyframes. This layer is pre-composed from a few grey solid layers layers with custom mask and box blurs to give it that smudgy ink look. I then have the last three wrappers animate into the scene with opacity scale and position keyframes at different times. They are also 3D enabled with the middle wrapper positioned in front in 3D space, similar to future from the previous scene. I then parent link these three wrapper layers to a new null object and make it slowly swivel on the Y axis while scaling. At the same time I have about 16 emoji layers with opacity scale and position keyframes all at different times. One thing I noticed is Patrick CC used a few of the same emoji layers a few times each. So once you create one you can duplicate it and drag all the keyframes down the timeline. And the end of the scene has all three wrappers position keyframe down and out of the view at different times. And here's the final animation. White wrappers are usually labeled as corny when they enter the music industry. Many rappers have this cool mystique about them, which attaches a persona to complement the extraordinary lifestyle they live and rap about. Often when white rappers try to create this cool persona, it comes off as inauthentic and is rejected by the masses, which then leads to- Let me know if this was useful or if there are any other creators editing you would like me to break down. Thanks for watching, see you next time.